Hi, my name is Ron Fier. I teach at Rancho Buena Vista High School. This is my 12th year here at Vista Unified. Um, I've, for the last three years, I've been serving as a member of the VTA negotiations team and also as a VTA representative on the district's budget committee. The purpose of this session today is to try to give you a little more information about some of the compromises that VTA has proposed to the district in order to solve our budget mess um, that they have currently not been willing to go along with. You may be aware that the District Board of Education has tentatively approved an $8.2 million cut from negotiated items. That's to come from VTA, CSEA, and District Administration. Um, something we disagree with is the District's contention that $6.5 million of that should be coming from VTA. They tell us that's more than our fair share, but they feel that we should be giving more than our fair share because in their estimation we have not sacrificed as much recently as either CSEA or administration. So again, the district wants $8.2 million to come out of negotiated items from all three employee groups combined, and they want $6.5 million of that to come from VTA. Here are some of the ideas that we've proposed to meet our share of what's required. Um, first, with class size increases. For the next two years, we have agreed to raise K-3 class sizes to 25 to 1. That'll save $500,000 per year. Agreed to raise middle school single-day contacts for each teacher to 210, and a cap for any individual class to 36 students. Uh, that would save $1 million. At the high school level, to raise the total contacts in a day to 185 and a single class cap of 38, that would save $1.3 million. Um, in addition, we've agreed to five furlough days, non-student days where no one comes, so five less teaching days, that would save $2.2 million. Putting those items together, that's a total of $5 million saved so far. In addition to that $5 million, we also feel that we've saved the district $400,000 per year through the early retirement incentive that 97 of our employees just agreed to. Um, the district told us that with that number of retirees, we would save $400,000. They're now telling us that due to accounting reasons, that $400,000 won't be saved, and they're asking us to save it again somewhere else. We feel that we did exactly what we were asked. We have saved them $400,000, and if they've made an error, they should make up for that error, and we should not. So adding on that $400,000, we've now reached $5.4 million in savings. So the big picture, the district needs to save $8.2 million in negotiated items. Um, with their demand of $6.5 million from VTA, they're agreeing that $1.7 million should be coming from CSEA and administration. So taking that $1.7 million that they've agreed to, plus the 5.4 that we've just offered, we've now reached a total of $7.1 million of the $8.2 million that's required. The district has also informed us that they plan to cancel another buyback day next year, just like they did this year, and we, of course, wouldn't get paid for that day. Um, so that's not a negotiated item. They can just do that because of the funding sources and the way the contract's written. So they can just take one more buyback day. So by doing that, they would save another $450,000. So keeping track of our total, we're now within $650,000 of the goal of $8.2 million. So here are a list of items that were at the top of the Budget Advisory Committee's priority list. Um, and each of these items were actually handed over to the district negotiating team at our last session so that they knew exactly what options they had available to find the remaining funds. Um, First off, um, to reduce the staffing formulas at the high school by, by tightening up the master schedule, that could save up to $180,000 a year. Um, we could do the same at the middle schools to save $300,000 a year. Um, it was a unanimous priority vote by the Budget Advisory Committee 
to no longer have legal representation for the district at the bargaining table at every negotiating session. That would save $5,900 a year, and given what's happened at the last two bargaining sessions, I would argue that it would save a lot more than that. Um, closing a school site has been discussed, and it's our perception that the board agrees down the road that needs to be done. What they should go ahead and agree to do that now without the details and budget in that $500,000 a year in savings so that they don't need to take that out of negotiated items and then try to put it back once they finally agree on what to do. Um, other possible changes include changing the staffing formula at the new high school so that it matches those of the other high schools. That would save $78,000 a year. Um, a high, a um, human resources technician position could be eliminated for approximately $57,000 a year. Um, the Budget Advisory committee, committee by a 12 to 4 vote thought that the board should consider eliminating the position of the deputy superintendent beginning in the 2011-2012 school year when the contract for the current position is up. That would save approximately $177,000 per year. In addition, then a secretarial position for that person would no longer be needed. That would save another $60,000 a year. Um, finally, professional development money is now deemed flexible by the state, so it doesn't need to be spent on professional development. It can be used for other items. There's a pot of up to $150,000 that could be used there. Putting all those in my items together comes up to a total of almost $1.6 million in savings that the board could use to pick and choose and prioritize themselves how to save that remaining $650,000. In conclusion, it's my opinion that since this impasse process has begun, the district has made absolutely no movement on their demand that VTA come up with more than its fair share, 6.5 million of the 8.2 million that's needed to close the budget gap. Um, I feel that it's time for the Board of Education to make the tough decisions they need to make based on the work that's been done by the District Budget Advisory Committee. They need to communicate those decisions to the district's negotiating team and we can get back together, settle this, and get back to our business. Thank you.